Hello and welcome to Naked Chef Gaming, where we're back in Stellaris as the United Federation of Planets. A couple of mods jumped in here just to show you exactly what I like playing with in Stellaris. So last time we basically just made up our little UFP, United Federation of Planets, Star Trek world, or Galaxy rather than world, and uh, yeah we're just kind of starting off our little adventure. So what's this? Uh, Mr. Leonard Scott, our science officer, reports that large flexible geometric grids made up of some plastic polymer, clearly artificial in nature, have been placed in the seas of Barnard Star 2. Possible from orbit, uh, visible from orbit, they seem to serve no purpose other than possibly an aesthetic one. So he just gets experience. Cool. You just keep on surveying, my good man. So our um, military ships are still going around, making sure there's no baddies. And so I might just continue that by going around. I can't remember if they went this way. Do they go here? Let's go here. Can you jump that far? Yes, you can. Just keep on rolling. That's very bad. Oh. More aliens. Epsilon aliens this time we found. So we're just leaving that uh, till later on. There's no point in researching it just now. Maybe once I've got... Um, once I've got my colony ship researched, then I might have a look at them. But until then, uh, I don't really see the point. Our science ship. He's got his little path to go on. Construction ship is currently building on Uranus and he's finished building Uranus. Oh, that's a funky noise. So the saying the interface mod here, user interface mod for the uh, Star Trek one. Uh, pretty cool, first time I've used it. I didn't realise there's got to be noise as well, which I like quite a bit. So you, my good man, are not doing anything, so just come here, enter orbit. I could get him to build the science research station here, but I'd rather keep my minerals just now. I've got a really good intake of minerals actually, which is surprising. And there's some more just here, just outside of my sphere of influence, which we will slowly uh, go out. I'm not sure how that is determined. I think maybe something to do with population. Um, I honestly couldn't tell you. If the someone knows, if someone knows, please let me know because it would be very handy. Zeta aliens? More aliens. So yeah, I'm, I'm not going to build anything here just now. I've still got excess food. So there's no point in uh, building any more food the places. Even more aliens? Wow, that's a lot. So you just have to watch out. Remember we started with a couple of more advanced alien races. Hopefully they're far, far away from me. There's two here. And uh, they will hopefully be my friend. Once I actually research them. How's the research going anyway? Whoop! There we go, look! Battlegroup was forced to return to Vaneco blah, 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 because it was within borders of the Banthurian progenitors. That's a nice oh look at his smile, he looks happy. Pitiful creatures, so that's a good start. Know that we roamed the stars for eons before your hopeless species mastered space flight. If any of your wretched little ships cross our space, do not expect them to return. Wow, that's very nice of you to say. So cooperation will surely benefit us all. We could learn much from each other. Or who's this? Let's say we could we could learn much from each other. First alien encounter. The news that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time is spreading like wildfire through the United Federation of Planets. Our citizens are fascinated by these beings and the media is full of reports and speculations on their culture and society. The rev revelation that we are not alone in this galaxy has largely been greeted with celebration on Earth. The Empire 
these aliens have founded appears to be very old and their level of technology is far ahead of our own. There's no doubt a great deal they could teach us. Cool. Whoa, so that is one of the advanced ones that we just happened to have bumped into. That's cool. Well, is it cool? Because they don't seem very happy with us. Why don't they like us? They're xenophobes. Not cool. Can we... let's just establish an embassy for now. Which maybe will get them liking us a little bit. They just think of us as little insects, pretty much. So you... whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening here? You... I don't think you're going to get there, so let's go here. Let's not go there, because you can't actually get through that land. Well, let's just uh, let's just go home for now, and hopefully you're not going to get attacked. You could probably you could probably take them. One little thing. There's quite a lot of nice little worlds around here to um, hopefully colonise. So that is our research done for the the five percent to our research, which is. Good, the quicker we get that the better. Um, what do we have here? So planet fortification toughness, energy capacity and the power hub, it's quite good to have. Uh, energy command and a fusion reactor. Let's go for the this one here, we'll get the power hub so we can build that. Now that's kind of annoying because you see our what are our people's expertise? His is computing, so that's the good one to have. It's just ten percent all round. Yeah, she's pretty good. Um, and voidcraft. So there's not when we get the chance, we could probably do these ones a lot quicker. See, she got nineteen percent. They're just nine percent. As I say that, and he's finished. So there's no void craft to be done. So minerals plus five percent is a good one to have. It just gives us a little bit more minerals to start off with. We have got a decent amount actually. So have we got anything within our system to build yet? Nope. We should probably have surveyed Alpha Centauri first. Uh, so we could start building there. But you see we're almost, we're kind of halfway into this one anyway. Yeah, it's level 4 already. That's insane. He is fast. So what we can do anomaly is... Found. Oh! Another anomaly. There are significant scarring on the surface of this world in a pattern that cannot be natural. From orbit, the massive rifts look almost like writing. It's just a... billboard on the galactic scale. For, I don't know, food, <laughs> Starbucks maybe, McDonald's, they've got their own planet for advertisement. Would not surprise me one bit. What is happening then? So we're still got, we just have to bide our time, wait for our colony ship to be researched, because she's actually the fastest researcher, which is good. Um. We need more influence to hire more people. Ooh, someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of Sirius 2. The massive script covers the large portion of the planet's upper hemisphere and appears to be short story chronicles the different life of an alien mercenary. <laughs> Strange. So a mercenary is just writing his story on a planet with a mining laser. That's uh, that's a bit weird, to say the least. So there's one thing I could m think about doing, is building this. Um, what am I looking for? I can build as a frontier outpost. 
Yeah, you can build like a frontier outpost which uh, automatically gives us a larger sphere of influence. So if there's uh, a system that I want to gather all the um, minerals and stuff in, I can build this. And it means I can uh, go and build there. It also means like other alien races can't get in there before me. So I've got this, whatever this is, the alpha aliens are coming to Sol. Oh no. What are you doing? Why are you just sitting there? You gonna attack? You just floating around for fun? Nope. Bye bye. As long as you don't attack my uh, sign ship, it's fine. Oh, that's quite a, quite a good system. I don't think I can build there yet, can I? Oh, I can. Let's build the mining stations. Even though it's only half, basically half in my territory. Try to move around so you can see. It's not even half, it's like a third, just over a third. Oh, I moved that, kind of felt a bit weird. <laughs> cool sound. <laughs> I'm just used to the normal one. It's just kind of strange having something different. And now I've moved the view. It, look, it feels strange. Maybe it'll change back. But uh, yeah, there's different... A lot of people use the um, WASD keys to move around like this. But I don't know, I just, I'm used to the sort of side scroll. I'm in no real hurry. In games like this you can pause it and move around so there's no real need, even though I've got this one hand do nothing. Whee! Just hovering over the space bar for pause. I'm not uh, not known for my knowledge of uh, quick keys, so hot keys, quick keys, same thing, isn't it? So, what are we doing then? Getting my oh oh, the campaigning to elect a new president underway. So we have to elect a new president. What we have here is uh, each candidate enters the election with a mandate and the backing of a specific faction, seeking voters' support. On election day, uh, on election day, all pops who may vote do so, and the winner is elected president. So we currently have Zephyr from Cochrane, who is um, gives us a build cost of minus fifteen percent and a leader leader lifespan of twenty five percent. I think that's just him. Might not, maybe, I think it's just him, maybe not. So the loyalists back him, but as you can see, the vote share is going to Leonard Scott. He's got construction build to minus 25 and space build cost, spaceport module cost minus 20%. She's, they've all got, they've all got 25%, so science ship build cost minus 25%, energy credits plus 10 Minerals plus 10%, that's a good one. And science ship build cost and all research, that's a good one as well. He, he's good, I like him. But what is he doing? He is the Earth Governor. I, I like him. I'm gonna. What I can do is support him, which costs uh, my influence, which is slowly taken up. So I'm gonna support um, Reginald Howard. So now he's up to 41%, which is. I think he'll probably be there for a while. And that means that when he gets voted in, Zephyr and Cochrane will be doing nothing, so he can become the um, governor of Earth. How is Earth doing? We have got still a surplus of food, still building pops, nothing really worth building just now. I might see about removing some of the sprawling sums, sums, slums eventually once our next complete. pop is is ready. New research, so that's our colony ship available to build which is fantastic and we've got orbital hydroponics, uh, biolab one, that's quite cool. Leader lifespan plus 10 years, food plus 10% 
It's probably a good one to start off with. And we will have a look at our spaceport. That's not our spaceport, this is our spaceport. Nothing we can build as a module yet, but we can build our colony ship. Which is 350. We've got enough, we should be fine. I think it takes five energy per month to actually keep it up and running. And that also um, costs when it's building its um, colony. So what I might do is, where's my science ship? I want to do survey this system and then head on over and survey this system. Hopefully it shouldn't take him too long because he's pretty, pretty good, pretty badass. Four star Leonard. Situation log updated. Oh. So Reginald has been elected. Reginald Howard has been elected as president of the United Federation Planets. Consult the situation log for a mandate. So they have mandates, which is orbital research world uh, mandate. President Reginald Howard has elected was elected on a platform increasing research output by building research stations in orbit around suitable planets. So if we build four research stations we get a reward of some influence. Which is cool, it's good to have. You can go away, very loud. Yeah, so um hopefully survey Alpha Centauri first. And then jump over here. I think it's going to take a while to build this colony ship. And then it takes a while for it to get all the way out there. I would like to know if it is inhabitable. 24. Before um, I send them out there. But if in doubt we have Sirius 3. It's a size 16 planet. Not too many blockers, decent minerals, very good for minerals. Um, we'll have Anaphilus and Turi 1, which will be surveyed soon. Whoa. We have got a receiving transmission from assembly of Sintomoral worlds. Sintomori? Sintomori. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Well done, Sintomori. I speak on behalf of the Assembly of Sintamori Worlds. We are a democratic nation committed to upholding the individual freedoms of our citizens in a galaxy full of alien horrors. Our elected leader, President Bootlakras, warns you not to interact with our citizens or approach our space. So it's a bit a bit hostile, but you know, he is a xenophobe again. Why am I surrounded by xenophobes? But he is a pacifist. Which is um that's not too bad to have next year. Uh, cooperation will surely benefit us. We could learn much from each other. Who is who is Reginald Howard? This is Reginald Howard speaking. What? I don't. Why is that? Anyway, cooperation will surely benefit us. Of course it will. So let's while we're here just establish an embassy. Why not, eh? So we have now built these two. Oh, look at that. I like an Alpha Centauri. What we could do is... Um, what are you doing? Oh, that's a good guy. They're not going to attack me. It's fine. We could get a start on building our um, uh, research stations for our mandate. Which will keep everyone happy with us. We do have enough materials, so I think it might be as well to start off, shall we? Research stations. Ooh, yeah, it's quite a lot. It's a big chunk. But um, one thing as well, it'll sort of take down our energy credits, which means when our um, when our um, colony ship's built, we'll be in the negative, which is a bit worrying. But uh, I'm sure we'll survive. So, anomaly found. Oh, it's an anomaly. We'll we'll do this anomaly. 
We're receiving a weak signal from a surface of this planet. The source appears to be some kind of tracking System beacon. Sweet. Let's research it. So he's finished his, his uh, system survey, he's got to do this anomaly and he's going to boom out to Alte Altair. Huh. Assassins. The Assassin's homeworld and we will yeah, see see how that happens. What goes on, maybe our colony ship will be over here, it might be down there. Let's have a quick look at Alpha Centauri 1. Not great, realistically, so we'll leave that one. Um, yeah, we might have our second planet. Sweet. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.